Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you read by the title, we're going to be talking about June favorites. Now, I know June already gone past. It's seven days into July, but I decided to go ahead and do this video for y'all because I cannot post it on the first or the second because I was actually trying out the Nessa Myricks new concealer. Now, if you do not know what that is, if you haven't seen anybody review it, go ahead and go on my channel and find that video because it's the last one I uploaded. But anyways, y'all, we're going to get right into this video now. I decided that I was going to do two categories. I was going to do body and beauty. I'm going to do beauty first because I have a lot of things I want to talk about that includes makeup and everything, y'all. But before we get into it, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Now for beauty, I have a lot, a lot of makeup, y'all. Like, it's ridiculous how much makeup and how much things I have that I want to say that's my favorite in June. So I have to, like, dance it down to my top favorite ones that I've been using, like, not every day, but almost every single day that I feel like it's worth mentioning. The first part of we're going to be talking about, y'all, is Milk Makeup. Now, y'all know I love this duo. It's actually almost gone. This is going to be in June, Ferris, because I literally, every time I did my makeup, this is the combo I used never fails like i'm always going with this primer and i'm going with this which is why it is literally gone but i don't think i'm gonna get a new one of this i think i'm gonna try something different for the month of july to see if i like it and to like do different things i've had these for years and i think it's time for me to try something new to see if i like it or not yeah i know i have dry skin so I, this is the perfect duo because it's a hydro grip duo and i think that's what made me want to try it and get it because of course the dry skin girlies already know that it's hard to find a good primer and so i got it i loved it best primer setting spray duo ever in my opinion but i'm going to be trying new products this month to see if i like it or not so y'all stay tuned for that the next product i like is also a primer y'all and it is the one size secure the blur primer now i do have pores y'all i have them everybody has them so i go in with this one i really really do love this product no matter what i pair with this the pores are gone they are seamless now it is a little bit pricey y'all but a little bit really really does go a long way so if you got the money you got the funds go ahead tap into this product all right next for makeup y'all i have two foundations that i want to talk about and the first one that y'all see is the anastasia stick foundation now this changed the game for me you do not want to wear like heavy duty foundation or something you just want something to like even out the skin and let it look good this product is definitely it now you know it's a little tap you take it out you got the product right there you have a twist to like twist it up and like twist it down y'all this product was definitely a game changer for me now a little bit does go a very very long way it is easy to blend and also has skincare in here y'all so don't think you're just putting something on your face and it's not working for you because it actually is now this product is great for dry skin girlies i say go in with like a hydrating primer and all that make sure you do your skin prep because you're gonna need this with this product it's not for oily skin but it's not really for dry skin it's more so for like every skin type you just got to make sure your base is ready for it so this is definitely great if you do not want to do a full face of foundation and all that you just need something to like even out the skin yeah now if you do want foundation y'all and this foundation is actually is on the cheaper side like i'm very very excited about it and it is the elf sand foundation now y'all i did this review I love this product, y'all. It blended so beautifully. Of course, I did not get the right shade because my Walmart did not have it. However, Elf reached out to me personally, y'all, and they sent me two shades. I got to pick the two. Now, I am a neutral undertone girly, so I went in with 64 rich neutral, and then I went into 54 deep neutral. Now, I know that's kind of weird that they consider this deep, but, you know sure so i think if i mix these two together i will get the perfect shade so i'm actually very excited to try these i have not tried them yet but when i did do that review and i wore it and i liked the way my skin looked in it i thought it was one of the best products on the market especially for eight dollars all right so as you can see y'all i have not been wearing any false lashes i just realized i did not even put no mascara on which is crazy because i'm going to talk about this mascara so i do not know how i missed this but for mascara, y'all, I have two. And surprisingly, they are from Kiss Products, y'all. Like, I really, really do love these mascaras. So I have the Volume and Define one. This is what it looks like. It is a very, very fine tip or so. It more so for, like, getting the bottom lashes. 
because as y'all can see, I do have a few, so I really, really do love this coverage forward. I also use it on my top lashes to separate after I go in with this one, because this one has a more thicker brush or whatever, so this is what this one looks like, y'all. It is so thick, and it really does make them long and everything, which is ironic because the name of it is Bold and Long. This, this is what it looks like, y'all. It is in a yellow packaging, which is so cute. So I paired these two together because I thought they would be the perfect duo, especially for lashes. Another product that I've been using like crazy for this month that I actually have on right now, and I didn't realize it until I was putting it on, I was like, wait, I really do love this product. So. And I decided to include it in this video, and that will be the e.l.f. Camo Blush. This one is in the shade Suave Mauve. Y'all love this. Like, it's on my face, but you really can't tell that it's on my face. But it gives my face kind of a, not a brightening look, but like more so I don't look pale or look too toned. Like, it give me some warmth and give me some, like, color. And that's why I went in with this. It is a perfect toned down shade, especially for the summer, y'all, when you do not want to do that heavy makeup look you want to do no makeup makeup which is what i got on right now got a little bit of blush a little bit of concealer a little bit of contour and i use that blush y'all and i really just love it when you're just trying to be subtle it's really that girl another product for makeup of course y'all is the danessa myricks yummy skin lift and flex concealer now this product shocked me i've never tried anything danessa myricks i actually just did this as a review once again this is my last video so y'all go check it out support your girl but i got this maybe like a week or two ago and even though it kind of just went on sale in july 1st and sephora i actually been had it it's been live on the sephora website for the month of june so i'm gonna include it in this video but y'all this product is definitely amazing this is what it looks like a little bit does go a long way if you want to do like a spot conceal this product is definitely it it has a little bit more of a sheen to it i don't know if y'all could tell but like the sheen is definitely there on my face, so you have to use a lot of powders to tone it down. But as a spot concealer or an under eye, if you don't want the creasing, really, really do love this. If you want to know my full deep thoughts on this product, like I said, check out my last video. This is one of my other go-to products if I want to do like a no makeup makeup look once again. And I actually have it on the cheeks. I really, really do love it. It's very subtle, and that is the, Milan, um, the Milani cheek kiss bronzer or so i just got tongue tied i don't know how y'all but i really really do love this product i have mine in a shade mocha mama it mocha moment sorry it is a cute little brown shade it's a little bit of golden i don't really use contours i use mostly bronzer which is why i love this i can wear it with makeup without makeup it really doesn't matter but for the 12 or 13 dollars you get and you get this little thingy and i've been using it for the whole month of june it don't look like it yeah also for makeup y'all this is kind of my last little thingy and it's gonna be my lip combo and here it is y'all y'all already know mac chestnut lip liner perfect for dark skin girlies i don't have to say much about it y'all i've been using this lip liner for years got a new one yeah that's definitely worth all the monies that it gets i do want to try the nyx one or even the morphe one so once i probably like go to ulta the next couple weeks or so i will try those but Y'all yeah, know MAC Cosmetics always been killing the game. And then now we're going to talk about the other two. Now, ELF kind of surprised me with this one. Now, this is their ELF Plumping Pencil. Of course, this is the shade color right here. And it's also a stick you put up. This is in the color. It don't say. It don't say what color it is. But this is what it looks like in the top. Of course, you hit the bun. Some come up. It only goes up a little, little bit. And a little bit really, really does go a long way. I actually have this combo on my lip, y'all. And my lips been loving it. It gives like this subtle, cute little look. Nothing too bold, nothing too bright. And it feels amazing. The plumpiness, mm, I can say that it works for me personally because I can feel it. I can see it on like my bottom lip because my bottom lip always go bigger first than my top. But I really, really do love it. But I've been topping it off with the NYX Butter Gloss. Now, y'all know this has been an OG staple in every girl makeup routine since it came out, honey. And this is in Butterscotch. This is my favorite shade as well because it's not too brown. It's like a pinky nude, which is what I've been loving for the summer, of course. So if you need any new glosses or anything y'all and if you do not have nyx butter gloss put it in your bag definitely put it in your bag and last but when it comes to makeup y'all i'm gonna be talking about the one size setting spray now this right here keeps the makeup together i have the mini because i wanted to try it and i might be going to get the big bottle because this keeps the makeup set all day you sweating don't matter this is on your face you got you hot don't matter you dip your, your face in like water don't matter i think i did um i think i went out somewhere and it was very very hot in the building y'all and this 
made it stay i got home makeup did not budge i had a little bit of oiliness of course on my cheek areas but other than that it stayed all night definitely my favorite thing i have to put this on my makeup all the time to keep it set because it's like 90 some degrees outside right now so of course i'm gonna use this next we're gonna move on to skincare and this product helps me remove my makeup and it, it is the pharmacy green clean right here now yeah i've been using this for years never been disappointed a little bit of this I swear makeup comes off instantly. It doesn't matter if it's waterproof, sweatproof, whatever proof, resistant, I don't care. This is gonna get rid of it. It is a little bit expensive, y'all, but a little bit really, really does go a long way. I've had this for years now, and I'm just now getting like a dent into the bottle, if y'all can see. I know my lights are a little bright, but if y'all can see, I'm just not getting a dent into that bottle. Like, it is worth the money, y'all. I promise you, you don't have to worry about getting no Neutrogena wipes, unless you do not want to use this. You don't have to worry about getting the water, because this does the job by itself. Another product for skincare that I want to talk about, y'all, is the Bioma eye gel now i got the mini because it came in my advent calendar for target and i ran out of the good molecules one and then i tried this one and i instantly fell in love this gel is amazing not only is it for brightening or anything but it keeps the under eyes plump looking good when i put my makeup on top of it it's not creasing as bad as it normally does and y'all i just really really love this product now i don't know how much it retail for but you can find it in target and ulta um i want it to maybe like 12 13 dollars but it's of course the bigger bottle so i feel like a little bit is gonna go a long way with that but i'm gonna be purchasing that one soon myself so if you need a new eye gel especially if you have dry under eyes that product is definitely worth it and since you can see this next one it's gonna be the black girl sunscreen now i've been looking for this for i can say years or so but when i was in high school me and my best friend was looking for this because we heard all about it but we did not have a target and our walmart did not sell it but the moment i went to target in the beginning of june and i saw this product definitely 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 worth the money it retails for like 14 dollars or so and you get the spf i think 30 and it is for face and body it is a moisturizing sunscreen and it is fused with jojoba and avocado like i said definitely for the dry skin girlies they do have one that is not moisturizing for girls who are oily and i think you will really really do love it but after this my face is glowing it looks amazing i love everything about it i don't have to go in with a moisturizer before this unless i just want to make sure that my face is extra moisturized if i'm having a very very bad dry day but for the summer i don't put no moisturizer on i just go in with this and my face looks good literally all day and the next product y'all we're gonna move into is hair now i know people are like a little bit biased but i'm gonna say fenty beauty now the reason why i'm gonna say fenty beauty is because when i tried it and i haven't washed my hair in a very very long time when i tried it it got my hair together i've actually been using it on my wig as well to see if it's really working for all products and as y'all can see the wig is thick it looks great it's frizzy though because i ain't styled it but the wig looks good and the wig has been loving these products as well i also do have the deep conditioner as well as the gel like the uh, styling gel and i do love those products as well but it was just too much to carry in my hand so i definitely really enjoy fenty beauty's new hairline now it is pricey so you can find cheaper products y'all but for the month of july that's what i've been using and that's actually what i've been loving so if you can't afford it don't get it there are cheaper alternatives out there so don't think that just because i'm telling you that i love it that you should get it another thing y'all and it actually is crazy because the label and everything is faded off that's how much i've been using it but that means they often need better packaging and that is the kiss avi beauty hair oil now you cannot see it y'all the label is missing it was actually orange that is insane that is sad i might include a picture on the side for y'all so y'all can see it yourself but my hair literally has been loving this oil i take of course this wig is glue so i take it off and like put it on my scalp and it works amazing it is thick as ever so do not put too much on there if you don't want your hair to be oily it also works great for ends if you have really dry and split ends this product also uh, neutralizes it and give it that oil um i really really just do love it y'all have no bad reviews i do not know how much it cost because it was given to me but it works especially if you try to find a do for the miel hair oil because you know they are talking about how it's not the same anymore that product is definitely worth trying all right so now we're going to be talking about body now there is a lot of different things out there for body but i'm going to be telling y'all what i've been loving lately and then i'm almost out up at this moment first we're going to be talking about a body scrub and it's going to be the tree hut vitamin c one as y'all can see gone 
I've been scraping the bottom out of this, y'all. It smells amazing. I know people tell my tree hut is bad for you, but I personally never had a bad problem with tree hut. I've been using tree hut for years and years and years. It ain't done none of my skin, but oh, I'm sorry, I had to smell it. But anyway, I'm gonna be trying like the dub polish for this month just to see how it is. But I really love tree hut. I love their sugar scrubs. I love everything about it. I really just love sugar as far as my skin because when I get sugar waxes, well, when I used to, I don't get them anymore because I don't have one where I'm at. But when I used to get sugar waxes, it also exfoliated and my skin was reacting great with it, which is why I got these sugar scrubs. So another thing I've been pairing with that scrub, y'all, because I like my skin to be hydrated because I have dry skin. It is definitely the Method Body Hydration body wash i don't know if y'all can see it y'all my camera is very very bright i'm so sorry but this is what it looks like i'm not done with this but i'm definitely like right here on this i don't know if y'all can see it but definitely running out the bottle um i've heard mixed things about method body as well but i've never had a problem with this so use it at your own risk i'm just gonna say i don't know Mm, but it smells amazing it is coconut milk this is the hydrating body wash which is what my body needs and i really really do love it um my skin feels very moisturized at the end especially paired with this scrub and get all the dead skin off y'all skin feels amazing and then with that being said i'm gonna lead into my favorite lotion and scent at the moment it's like a two-in-one of course y'all already know it's from bath and body works y'all but it is the mimosa sunshine this is what it looks like i have been loving this scent for this month I have monthly scents, sometimes weekly since it depends on what I want to switch up and change but right now it's mimosas I mean sunshine mimosa sorry sunshine mimosa now this is the body cream I actually have the perfume in the car so I don't have the perfume to pair with it but it has hyaluronic acid and shea butter it's a 24 hour moisture of course like I have dry skin so doing my body wash my scrub plus adding this to it I just feel like the skin felt amazing looks amazing and it smelled amazing like there was no doubts about it so I really, really do love this lotion at the moment and this scent, and it is from Bath and Body Works. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all already saw me rave about this deodorant and my hygiene shopping video and everything, y'all, and it is the Shea Moisture deodorant. Y'all, now y'all, very biased when I first got it and tried it. However, I am excited that I did. I really, really do love this product. I have the moisturizer one, because like I said, I have dry skin. They do have different ones, like even tone, um, hyaluronic acid they have different ones y'all i don't know but i it was between this one and the even tone one but i already have kind of even tones because i've been using my dove even tone so i decided to go in with a moisturizer one to see how it is and i love it in my opinion it is water based because it glides on like it's a gel it's not really powdery which is what i'm loving and i think all of the other deodorants are like this so i really really do love this one now i'm thinking about trying trying the even tone one to see if it glides on like gel like this one because if it does i'm gonna be using these over my dove one because the dove one kind of powdery I don't know what it is, but my underarms, when I put it on, it feel like chalk a little bit every now and then. So maybe I'm just, I don't know, y'all. But I'm definitely going to be trying the even tone version of this to see if I love it. But even though I was skeptical, really, really do love this product for the month. Under eyes feel moisturized. It did not sweat as much, even though it's hot as ever outside. It stayed together. I did not sweat because I have a bad problem with my underarms and everything, which is why I use Dove and not Secret or anything of that nature. But this product kept me together and i definitely use it the whole month of june because that's when i got it and all right everyone and that is it for today's video let me know in the comments what your favorite products are what you are loving for the month of june and let's do a little chat in the comments now like i said i know it's like into july sorry the video got out late i can't do nothing about that but thank you all for watching once again now it is sunday so i hope you all have a great rest of your week i hope you enjoy it i hope your weekend was a fabulous i just hope that y'all go through and have a good week now it's june not june it's july june came through past it left before my eyes i feel like july's gonna do the same thing because i see girls talking about back to school stuff so we're probably gonna be getting a lot of back to school content lately just to help out the girlies whether you're high school and college just to let y'all know the tea about which i need for the school year as far as makeup hygiene whatever so if you want to see all that type of content don't forget to like comment and subscribe or if you want to just see more content from me as well support your girl leave this video a like comment down below once again y'all and i will see y'all thursday for another video bye